Welcome back to the Pen and Interesting vlog. If you're new around here, thank you so much for stopping by. Don't worry, you don't have to miss out on any more of my weekly videos. All you have to do is hit this little subscribe button and the bell and you'll be notified when my videos are released every single weekend. They're all super easy tutorials about natural makeup. So as you can probably tell from my lack of eye makeup, what I'm going to be doing today is centred around the eyes. And it has to be one of my most asked questions as a makeup artist or from friends. And it is, how do I do eyeliner? So people are asking me this all the time. And a couple of weeks ago, I did decide to make an eyeliner video. So I sat down and I started going through all the different types of eyeliner from pencils to gel pots to pens and I just thought it was so overwhelming how much knowledge information I wanted to put into the video and I want, always want everyone to be able to come away and be able to know how to do something or how to practice doing something and it just was just jam-packed full and it would have been a 30 minute video by the time I finished so I'm back trying to record it again and this time I've decided to centre it around one type of eyeliner application because it can be adapted to the other forms um, and it's one of the easiest methods and that is using the gel pens. So the great thing about the gel pen is all the product is in here and you don't need to worry about a brush because it's already there. They're relatively cheap and they're quite easy to learn how to use as well. But don't worry, I will also be covering pencils and gel pots in other videos. I just want to give you really basic tutorial on how to apply gel liner dependent on your eye shape, whether you've got almond eyes or hooded eyes and how to get over those um, hurdles. So if you want to know how to apply eyeliner, stick around. Okay, so during this application, I'm going to try and show you different styles of eyeliner. So hopefully the eyeliner that you're looking to, to achieve is within this video, because I know how annoying it is when you watch eyeliner videos and you're like, oh, that's not the eyeliner I wanted. That doesn't really teach you anything. So I am going to be using the Hyper Precise All Day Matte by Maybelline. Obviously, I'll link in the descriptions what it is. And I'm going to be looking down into a handheld mirror as well. So, the first thing worth mentioning is obviously I've done all my makeup. However, if you're new to eyeliner and you think you're going to be making mistakes, and we all do, I probably will make a mistake during this, but I will show you how to clear that up. If you make a mistake and you're not done all your base, you can quickly correct it without having to wipe makeup off and start again. So, if you're new and you, you want to practice and you're doing your eyes first, then just do your eyes first and leave all your other makeup till after, and then you've got no risk of messing anything up. So the first thing I'm gonna do, obviously I'm gonna be looking down into a mirror here. So I'm just gonna show you how to fill this inner corner. Now you don't have to take it all the way from the inner corner, you could just take it from here and down and obviously do the flick. So what I want you to remember with this pen is sometimes we're gonna be using the tip and sometimes we're gonna be using the side. So for this, we're going to be point, go, taking it directly into the corner of the eye. I'm looking down into my mirror and I'm kind of going to be using the side of the brush to just lay a little line down. Okay, and then with the tip, if I want to get really into this bit, I'm going to more look directly into my mirror and I'm going to use the tip to draw up into that bit. And you can obviously just keep filling as you go. We're going to come back to these areas so it doesn't have to be too precise and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the side and I'm going to line all the way across. You notice I'm doing it in little bits and not by any means just trying to do one whole swoop. close to that lash line as possible. 
Now, if you wanted a thicker eyeliner, if you can, if you look directly ahead of your eye, where your eyeball is, this is where it should go up and be a bit thicker if you want to make your eye look wider here. And obviously, if you don't want to um, make it look wider here, you can just e um, make it look longer this way by drawing it out. So I'm gonna go a bit heavier just on that bit because as you can see, if I just follow my lash line, I get this like bump here and it doesn't look very smooth. So I'm just gonna go a little bit thicker there. Okay. Just doing it little by little. And the most important thing is I keep looking at myself straight on because everyone is going to be looking at my eyeliner like this. They're not going to be looking at it like this or you know, pulled out and stretched, it's gonna be straight on. So that's the time it needs to look most perfect when I'm looking directly ahead. So until you've learned about your eye, you probably will be doing it slow like this. Okay, that's kind of getting there now. Yep, I think I'm happy with that. So, now we're gonna think about flicking it out. Now, if you have a crease in your eye like this, please, you don't want to be looking down into the mirror too much to do the flick. You also don't want to be pulling at the eye because all that happens, if I pull that skin, obviously that line goes and as soon as I release it, the line goes back. So it needs to look perfect while we're looking ahead. So if you've got quite hooded eyes and this line is a bit further down um, or you know, you've got eyes a bit more like this if you stretch it out as soon as you release it that line is still going to be there so we're going to look directly ahead and we're going to draw over any crease so this is for the people that have got um, hooded eyes or lines and creases like this one just here oh don't know what that was on my own so I'm going to be looking straight ahead and I'm just gonna go directly over this line. So I'm gonna use the bottom um, lash line as a guide to go up, and then what I'm bringing down, if I go over that line, that's okay. And just using the point to sketch it out how far I want to go. So I literally just use the point for that. And then I'm kind of filling in the gap there. and bringing that point up. Now for this bit, you might wanna flip your brush to come down because it might be easier for you to flip it round and then pull it down into a point more than anything else. So I'm gonna go down this way. So I'm still looking straight ahead. Directly over the line. And I'm going to fill in that gap. I'm just taking it up to meet. So as you can see, if anyone's looking directly at me, that is a wing. But you might get a little step 
like that. Now you can either try and fill it in, but on, more, on really hooded eyes, you are gonna get a proper step in it. And you've just got to embrace that. If you want the flick, you've got to embrace the step. Okay. So there's that. Now I'm gonna pop on some mascara and I'm gonna show you how to tidy up any edges trick for it. But I'm gonna show you how to clean it up if you've made any mistakes. So you might think, oh goodness, this wing, it's coming out this way too much. I wanted it to be more upwards. So there's a couple way of cleaning it up. So those ways are, we can either use cotton buds. Now this is a pointy cotton bud or we have the traditional cotton buds. So you can either put, micellar water on these or you can even use an eye primer if you've already put your foundation down you can use an eye primer to move that so i'm going to show you how to do that right now i'll first just show you with the pointy cotton bud and i'm putting some eye primer on oh sorry some face primer on and as you can see it's made to take the edge off of those so you're going to put it here and you're just going to press and drag. Don't worry about this. Turn it over to make sure you've got the black here and you're going to press and drag and then I can just roll this bit off. Same, um, same product with the primer. Because I can just press the primer into my skin and it just goes. And obviously, if you've dragged it out and you get this tiny little kind of line appearing, you might look at that and you go, you know what, I actually really like the way it's finished that thin, so I'm going to leave it. You can always come back with your pen and just take it out like that. A little bit more. Okay, so that's the first way of cleaning it up. You can see the liner is now going um, up more like this. So obviously you can do that same tactic with um, a normal cotton bud, but you just don't have the preciseness of the point. The second way is your concealer brush or any brush that's got a super flat edge. It would help actually if it had a really straight top. And you can get this, this has still got a little bit of concealer on and you can literally just press and drag that up. You can see again, it's like creating a little tapered tail. But I quite like that. And that's another way of cleaning it up. And again, because it's got a little bit of concealer left on it, you can, any dragging of product that you've done, you can blend it out with it. If you do this a few times, you will need a paper towel nearby. So anything you, any black you've picked up by doing this, wipe it on the tissue and then go back. So you're not distributing what you've just taken off back onto the eye. So don't feel like if you haven't done the perfect wing, with the pen, you can then clean it up. It's, you don't really have to worry about that, but that is a delightful wing. I'm really happy with that. And actually, I prefer it now we've cleaned it up and we've taken it up a bit. And I also love the little line that's been created um, in that as well. So there you go. There's your application and clean up. And there we go, now you know how to put on winged eyeliner. Another little tip is if you're oily, grab some pressed powder, loose powder, get a big fluffy brush. And if you put powder just here, it will just stop you from getting any transfer of the eyeliner. So that's another, another little tip for you. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Just keep those cotton boards nearby or your brush to um, help you clean up. Everyone makes mistakes. I used to wear winged eyeliner every single day and believe me, there was days where it just wasn't worth it. It just wasn't going right. 
but just remember this eye and this eye they don't look like each other they're not symmetrical so if it looks different on this eye when you tilt your head back to this eye don't worry as long as when you're looking straight ahead it looks like lovely winged eyeliner that's all you have to worry about I guarantee if you've got beautiful eyeliner, even if it's the tiny littlest bit, not even, no one is going to go, oh my gosh, did you know your eyeliner is wonky? Um, so don't worry about like utter perfection. If you've got any questions about eyeliner, please do pop them in the comments below. I am going to at some point be covering how to use pencils on the eyes and gel liner as well, but hopefully this gets you off to a good start. If you liked anything I said, give it a thumbs up. That helps YouTube know that you like my content. If you disagree with me in some way, you can give me the thumbs down. That's absolutely fine. But there's always one condition, and that's you have to write in the comments why you gave me the thumbs down, why you disagreed with me. I really do appreciate the feedback. So if you like this really quick and easy tutorial, you can watch me again in this video or you can subscribe and watch me again next week and you should be able to subscribe here somewhere any minute now, if not now. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'll see you next time.